In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use partial products to multiply two two-digit numbers. For the lesson, we're going to use the number 37. We're going to multiply that by 42. Now, one major thing we have to remember when we're multiplying two two-digit whole numbers such as these is we need to multiply each digit on the bottom by each digit on the top. We have a 4 and a 2 in the number 42 in our bottom number. Each of those will be multiplied by the 3, then by the 7 on the top. If you follow step by step and think about the place value that each digit is in, the problem actually is very simple. So one place that I like to start always is I like to start with the number closest to the multiplication symbol. I'm going to set up another column to show all of my work. Now, we see that digit that circled is a 4, but we need to think about the place value and the value that that 4 has. That 4 is in the tens place, so that value of the 4 is actually 40. So I'm going to set up my first problem over here. We're going to take that 40 and we're going to multiply it by each digit on the top. We have a 3, and then we have a 7. Each time we multiply it by a digit on the top, we're going to think about the place value that that number's in. So first let's start with the 3, the number right above it. That 3 isn't just a 3, the value of that 3 is 30. So we're multiplying 40 times 30. I'm not going to answer this problem yet. I'm going to think about all of the different small multiplication problems like the one I just made before I start to actually do my math and multiply. Now we've multiplied 40 by 30. We next need to multiply that 40 by the next digit that we see on the top and its value. We're going to be multiplying 40 times 7. Now, we've multiplied our 4 or 40 by each digit on the top. Now let's move to our 2, the number in our 1's place. That 2, the value of that 2 is simply 2 because it's in the 1's place. Again, we're going to multiply that 2 by each digit on the top. Let's start with the 3 that has the value of 30. 2 times 30. Next, We'll multiply it by the number in our ones place, 2 times 7, because the value of that 7 is simply just 7. Now let's look at what we did. I have 40 two times, one for each digit on the top that you see here, and then I have 2 multiplied two times, one for each digit on the top that we see here. A great way to check your work is to check to be sure that you have your 40 two times and your 2 two times, or whatever numbers you have in those place values and the value of those numbers. Secondly, we see that we have our 40 multiplied by 30, then 7. We see it all over again when we see 30 and 7 multiplied by our 2's. You should see the same pattern with the numbers that you're multiplying by, if you've multiplied by all the numbers on the top. Now those ideas are just a couple quick things you can do to check your work to make sure you've multiplied all the numbers on the bottom by all the numbers on the top. Now we have our problem set up and we're ready to multiply. I'm going to bring this bar down a little bit further. And we need to look first at our first problem, 40 times 30. Now we see that there's some zeros involved in our problem, so we know that there's a much simpler problem. The simple problem is 4 times 3. We know 4 times 3 is 12. Then we need to add our two zeros back in to actually show our answer for 40 times 30. Well, I'm going to take these zeros, and I'm going to put these zeros right into my answer first. And I do the zeros first just to kind of help my place value and columns line up very neatly. So now I have 40 times 30 is 1,200. Let's move down to the next problem. We see 40 times 7. Our simple problem is 4 times 7. I'm going to take the zero out put it in my answer. Now we know 4 times 7 is 28. 
So 40 times 7 is 280. Our next problem, 2 times 30. Our simple problem is 2 times 3. We see we have a 0 to add in. Put my 0 in first just to make sure my columns are lined up neatly. Then I have 2 times 3 is 6. Now our last problem has no zeros to add in. The answer to 2 times 7 is 14. We have all the answers to our multiplication problems. Now we simply add them up, carry any number in a tens place to the next column, and we have our answer. Let's look on the right side in our ones column. We have 4 times z plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 4. We have 1 plus 6 is 7, plus 8 more is 15. We have a number in the tens place this time, so I'm going to carry my 10 to the next column, write my 5 below. Now we have 2 plus 2, which is 4, plus the one more we carried over is 5. And 1 is brought down in our thousands place, or in our last column. Our answer is 1,000. 554. If I wanted to estimate to see if my answer was close or even correct, I could round my 37 to a 40, and I could round my 42 to a 40. We know 4 times 4 is our simple problem, that is 16. Add my two zeros in, and I have 1,600 as my estimate which is very close to my actual answer of 1,554. Big steps to remember when you're multiplying with partial products. Make sure you multiply every digit on the bottom by every digit on the top. Always think about the place value that that digit is in. Then add to check your answer. You can estimate.